Miami High, from its majestic structure to its picturesque gardens, is a historical education center. Miami High was opened in 1903 and has played a role in the lives of many generations of students since. The school's beginnings, however, were in 1902, when the first building, a two-story wooden bungalow, was built on Northeast First Avenue. And in 1903, when the school building opened its doors for the first class of 15 students. In 1905, Miami High School moved from the wooden bungalow to its first real school building. Two other buildings served as home to the Stingarees from 1911 until Miami High's current home opened. After years of community leaders and parents calling for a new school building, groundbreaking for today's Miami High School began on March 18, 1927, and construction took up most of the next year. Students entered the new building for the first time on Valentine's Day in 1928. This beautiful building is an architectural mesh of Italian, French, and Spanish influences, making Miami High's campus truly unique. The three sets of double doors at the front of the building are French Romanesque inspired and are replicas of the entryway of an Italian palace. Handcrafted lamps, also replicas from the same palace, adorn the entrance. The border of the ceiling in the foyer is still original. Although the ceiling is painted and repainted every year, the border remains untouched since 1928. This beautiful lobby also contains four lamps inspired by the palace in Italy from which the front doors were modeled. An elegant ticket booth accents the lobby and the school's Mediterranean design. Across the lobby is Miami High's theater. Until the opening of the Dade County Auditorium in 1954, the Miami High Theater was Dade County's original opera house. This exquisite theater has a gabled roof and is three stories tall. Four chandeliers, designed by Miami High alumni, hang on iron chains from the ceiling, and ten balconies add to the theater's grace. Griffins and gargoyles are seen on the frames of the stage, the clocks, and the orchestra pit. Right above the entrance to the theater, three murals proudly hang. Painted by Denman Fink, the Miami High murals represent science and technology, history, civics, and government, and arts and sports. Artist Denman Fink also has historic murals hanging in the Dade County Courthouse. Underneath the lobby murals are four trophy cases highlighting Miami High's incredible athletic achievements. Miami High's allure is contributed partly by its four patios. These open areas are home to many varieties of trees and plants. The East Grassy Patio features a statue of Jose Martí, the father of Cuban independence. This statue was a gift from the Cuban Spring Festival after Miami High's Million Dollar Band participated in the festivities during the 1950s. The East Patio is the main courtyard for social gatherings. Homecoming dances have been held at the East Patio in previous decades, but are now mainly used during lunch. The patio features a fountain decorated with Spanish tiles. The fountain was a gift from the class of 1926 for the opening of the building and has been kept in good condition with the efforts of the MHS Alumni Association. Throughout Miami High's prolific history, one of its defining characteristics has been its students. Over the years, Miami High has seen diverse cultures and personalities stroll through its halls. Miami High has produced famous athletes, future educators, entertainers, and even great politicians, such as former Florida Governor and Senator Bob Graham and Don Slesnick, the mayor of Coral Gables, who all give a testimony to the greatness that Miami High has produced. Uh, very proud to be an alumnus of Miami High. I mean, being a stingery um, is, is one of the things that I, I uh, think mostly about is one of the high marks of my life. My message to any stingery is you are a very lucky person. You're a proud person. Uh, this uh, school uh, has been a place for greatness. Uh, thousands of people who have attended this school have gone on to do exceptional things in their lives, in part stimulated by and prepared through the education 
that they received here at Miami Senior High School. So as the Marines say, you are one of the few, you're one of the proud, you're a stingery. But student life hasn't always been the same. Things have changed since the original class of 1903. They've changed, changed, and changed again. Certainly, this progression will not cease, only continue. In the world of athletics, nothing has matched the spirit and purity shared in high school sports, something that Miami High has been a part of for many years. The origins of Miami High athletics began after the end of the first week of school, 1911, in the Miami Central School Building in downtown Miami. The boys began organizing baseball, football, tennis, and basketball teams under the guidance of Professor Leon G. Stevens. Ten years later, coached by Ernie Cedar, they would win their first state championship and a trip to Chicago in 1924. This wouldn't be Miami High's only championship win, though. The basketball team would go on to win 17 more championship games, bringing the total to 18, the most championships of any other high school in Florida. Miami High has had many successful basketball players and coaches throughout the years, such as Stephen Blake and Udonis Haslam. Football legends include Cedric Irvin, Atari Bigby, Andre Johnson, and Roscoe Parrish of the NFL. In 2008, Miami High football player Arnold Tucker, class of 43, was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame as the quarterback at Army. Famous coaches at Miami High include Otis Mooney, Vince Schaefer, Ralph Davis, Shaky Rodriguez, Anthony Grant, and Frank Martin. One of the school's alumni, Lindy Infante, went on to coach the Green Bay Packers. Miami High would go on to grow more students into incredible athletes over the years and add an incredible abundance of different athletic activities ranging from football, basketball and baseball to golf, swimming and bowling. Miami High is a school filled with tradition. Being the oldest school in Miami, the school is rich with history, which makes this place like no other. To represent the school and tradition that stands proudly, a mascot was embraced. Whippy, a cartoon designed of a stingray in the school's colors and uniform, was created as Miami High's mascot in 1960. Since then, Whippy is present at almost every activity, including pep rallies, football games, and homecoming week. Miami High had its first homecoming day in 1928. From that day, the event has grown to a week full of activities that is kicked off with a dance and is completed with the famous homecoming parade and game. Yeah. The parade is well known due to floats and banners, which are made by the school's clubs. At the homecoming game, hundreds of alumni return to show their stingery spirit. Traditionally, the homecoming king and queen are announced at halftime of the football game. Another attraction many alumni return to see is Miami High's Million Dollar Band. The band has maintained the school's spirit in the years since its foundation. It is tradition that to end their halftime performance, the band forms itself into a big M that stands as the school symbol. Along with performing at games and across the state, the band also performed on a national level with their participation in the 1983 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Though there are many schools with homecoming events and bands, there's one thing Miami High has that no other school has, the Sigma Chi Award. The award began in 1947 and is given every year to a senior who represents the school to the fullest. The Sigma Chi Award winner is a student who the staff and student body consider the most outstanding senior leader. Students who have won this award in the past have gone on to become successful lawyers, politicians, and teachers. Two previous Sigma Chi winners were United States Senator Bob Graham and Chief Justice of the 11th Judicial Court, Joseph Farina. The award continues to be given to this day and will be given for years to come. Miami High's tradition has evolved throughout the years. Along with changes the school has gone through, and with many changes still lying ahead, you can be sure the school's tradition will only evolve with it. The beautiful and elaborate Miami High School has been slated for major renovation and modernization, 
a project for which Miami-Dade County is committing significant resources and over $80 million. Known as the Biltmore of Education, the school's design includes grand interior spaces, open courtyards, colonnades, and fountains. The Siskovich Education Group has analyzed where and how to carefully uncover the original design of Miami High, to repair the existing structure, and how to place the required additions so as not to detract from this educational gem. The new plan aims to balance preservation of the historic school while optimizing the current building to meet present-day teaching requirements. The design firm is working with community leaders, Miami-Dade County, and stakeholders in a way that allows all to share in the vision of Miami High's rebirth. The master plan and concept designs have been approved and Ziskovich is producing the construction documents. For over 100 years, Miami High has become home to thousands of students that have gone on to become great politicians, athletes, entertainers, and business people. No matter where in the world they go, the memories created in these hallowed halls will be cherished forever. Miami High graduates will remember the lessons learned and the friendships made, the times they laughed and the times they achieved. Whatever they become in their lives, they will always remember that they are a part of Miami High. Our alumni were and forever shall be stingrays, and the immortal words that are Miami High will reflect in their actions without end. Non verbis sed operis, not by words, but by deeds.